Now this is anything but mumbo jumbo. This is the Mars Lumograph Digital Jumbo. Stadler messaged us and says, wow, thanks so much for your video. We really appreciate it. Here's the jumbo. And we said, oh my goodness, I didn't even know you had a jumbo. The first generation had the Norris Digital Jumbo. The second gen got rid of the jumbo. And now it's back. What is the difference? The eraser and the body length. But we're also going to crack it open, see what's inside, and then we're going to weigh it and then test it on a Kindle Scribe. Might as well. Just wrapped up Kindle Scribe, an update video, so we will see what we can see. Now, these tips are not the traditional graphite felt composite tips you will find everyone using from Remarkable to Big Me to High Read. These are different. These are the ones that the High Uni Digital Mitsubishi uses and a couple other smaller brands. This one is not going to fit in the Remarkable Pen. It won't fit in the Onyx Pen 2 Pro. It won't fit in the Scribe. But the pen itself does work because, as you can see right here, works with electromagnetic resonance. That's EMR. Anytime you hear EMR, that's effectively colloquially known on the street as Wacom. Yes, I know it's Wacom, and yes, I know it's a Japanese company, and it is a proprietary trademarked brand, but it's usually okay to just say, is it Wacom enabled? And you know that it'll work. So here's the pen. This is made out of real wood. So you could snap this in half. And the actual EMR, electromagnetic resonance receptor, is only about that big. It only goes to about there. The rest is just core for ergonomic purposes and to accommodate the back eraser, which is just basically a little tiny PCB with a long cable that's all coiled up in there that goes to the PCB here. So that's really what it is. You have a very nice kind of display. I like the way they do that, honestly. And for people that don't know, no, there is no charging and no pairing. Wacom, true Wacom pens don't need charging. They don't need charging. They don't need pairing. Anytime you see something with a quadruple A battery like the Kobo Ellipsa, Kobo Sage, or you see something like the Sony DPT that has a charger at the back, that's not a Wacom pen. They won't be Wacom. How heavy is this? This is 9 grams. It's on the lighter side of things because some pens are 14, 15, 16, even 17 grams. The lightest being around the 4 gram range for a kind of entry level Wacom pen. This one again is all wood. It is triangular. It has a nice kind of flex. The thing about the Stadler and the Mitsubishi pens, the tip flexes. It gives you that kind of almost paintbrushy feel rather than a ballpoint pen or a pencil feel. The pencil feel would be like a remarkable pen where the distance between the acceptance point and the tip is very short and stumpy. This one's very long and flexible. So let's bring a Kindle scribe into the scene and we'll see how it feels. I will tell you that this is the same as the other one. There's no difference in the actual pen tip feel. Now there's a number of variables you can do because you could write on a Quaderno, which is a plastic screen. You can write on an Onyx, which is a glass screen, much like this one, which is a glass screen. This one has a screen protector over it that feels very soft and velvety, whereas the Onyx has a little bit more grit. The Remarkable 2 is a little bit more grit. The Fujitsu being the best has that really sharp kind of sandpaper screen because it's a plastic screen. And these tips are not, as we said, the same ones as the Remarkable. They're quite different. This one is more sticky. It is very sticky on the page versus the remarkable pen and the standard Wacom felt tips that have more grind to it. This one makes almost no noise. It is a very paintbrushy type experience versus a piece of white paper on top of a marble surface grinding away, nubbing down your graphite tip that you'd find in an Onyx or a Big Me. This one is different. It is a different feel overall. It's more glidey. This is more indicative of writing on a tablet, but not as hard, not as actually plastic on plastic. Now, the thing we really need to look at is the eraser. So what I'm going to do is just scribble on the screen all over the place here, and then we're going to try the eraser. What we will try first is a thin, and then we'll see what we can see. Because remember, the Lumograph standard doesn't have an eraser at the back. You will have to use the tip, which you can still do on this. You can erase like that. But this one, even if you're on the palette with a paintbrush, you can still erase using the back. And this is where things get different. Now it feels like you're using an actual rubber eraser. Why is that? 
because you're using a rubber eraser. For all intents and purposes, it's made out of rubber and it is an eraser. Instead of scrubbing away at the graphite laying on top of paper, which is just trees compressed into a fine film effectively, you are now digitally erasing. But the concept is the exact same thing. And I must say the feel is super realistic. This thing is very high grip. It's a bad example on the Scribe because the Scribe actually has rubber stoppers at the back. But I will show you that if we get our box, it is extremely high grip that it will grab things and move it around. The scribe, again, can't really move around because, you know, it's a good idea that they have those. I actually much appreciate that they have the bumpers at the back because not only do they act as to prevent it moving around, it actually dampens the movement on your tabletop because it acts as almost like a earthquake-proof dampening device that they put at the bottom of buildings. So this is the Stadler Mars Lumograph Digital Jumbo. It is a massive name. Look at that name. It fills the entire length of the pen. It is a really cool pen. I love that they have a jumbo variant. I didn't know they had one of these until they sent it to us from Germany. These are made in Germany. This is a great set. If you want to grab one, it's available on our site. Thanks for watching.